Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the year 2017 and I want to say to each and every person out there, please remember to like, share these videos and subscribe to the channel. I want to say thank you to all you Capricorns out there. Thank you to the wonderful people who have been supporting my channel. You all, I'm so grateful. I'm really so grateful. Please continue um, to support the channel and please thumbs up, likes, and share. If you'd like to donate for um, <clears throat> all the time that um, you or submit, we submit, and this new year is going to be changes that is going to be happening, donation button is there if you'd like to donate for all the year. Um, readings that you have received it's also good it's going to a good cause um <clears throat> i want to say to each and every person thank you for this um great support that you have been doing remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign and listen to the general energies because they are going to be placed okay um this year 2018 for you capricorns it's amazing you guys are the first one to, doesn't have the energy of justice coming up so I, I i guess you're whatever that was happening to you guys in 2007 or 2006 uh, the justice isn't here it is the first reading that the justice has not come up this is also a very very positive reading the beginning of the year is going to be extremely positive the end of the year is more low-keyed, more things happening, more finding your true inner light. In the third quarter, the fourth quarter is going to be the tower breaking down justice, but you are going to be victorious and successful. You have also the energy of the chariot in the month of December. December is going to be one of your best, best month. So okay as usual we are going to go in your reading but before that we are going to give a message about the year 2000 and um 18 the year 2018 you is the year from an air energy and this is the energy of justice what is going to happen to you capricorns and some of you are going to start feeling it is that you are shifting um dimensions a lot of you Capricorns are going to be feeling the shift in dimensions. A lot of you Capricorns are going to be connecting with the mystic world, the mystical side of things. You're going to want to go in depth to, to connect to this mystical side to see is there really mystery and you're going to want to um, search for the mystery of life. Um, this year is positive because this year is going to change you. You are going to decide whether or not you are going to move to the fourth dimension from out the third dimension to the fourth dimension or for the people who are in the fourth dimension, you're going to decide whether or not you're going to go back to the materialistic side or you're going to choose the spiritual side. So this is where the people in the fourth dimension is going to be and most of you or in um, the fourth dimension if you're not still holding on on the uh, the third dimensional world so um, justice is a dual energy which is uh, you have to make a decision a portal is open up for you Capricorns in this um, year of 2018 a portal is about to open up and uh, um, with the portal opening up you have to make a decision as uh, you are going to and learn to balance the spiritual and materialistic world out or you are going to stay in the three dimension okay so <clears throat> this is um um just a little bit of the messages for you capricorns that is coming up and as i can see um <clears throat> The first half of the year is going to be um very good but the the, the, the second half whatever it's happening and I'm seeing the magician really coming up in um, this year readings and uh, the eye princess and especially for you Capricorns the eye princess and looking for your true inner light and the mystic world so some people will be um, connecting with a mystic world some people will be connecting behind the veil and some people will be trying to find their true part the true north of who you are and their help is going to come in 
to support you a lot of the universe is going to send a lot of people if, if you know there's a saying it when you're ready for the the um, the teacher the master will come in and this is going to what is going to be happening in the last part of the year the second half of the year for you Capricorns okay um, you're ending the year <clears throat> on a good note you're beginning the year on a good note you're beginning the year in January is going to be a new beginning for a lot of you Capricorns okay so in January there is going to be a new beginning for a lot of you Capricorns and you're ending the year on a good note with the energy of victory and success so this is going to be also a very very positive situation that is happening so this is going to be good so <clears throat> sorry what is happening is that a lot of spiritual a, 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 a lot of spiritual energies are going to come in because you have the hermit and the eye princess the hermit and the eye princess in a reading is going to tell you what your hair is going to be like your hair it's going to be like the <clears throat> hermit the eye princess and the angman energy is here these three water energies okay as I look at your year there is absolutely no one sub to support for you Capricorns and it's in the first half of the year in the last part of the year there is no supporting earth energies for you guys so you have to deal with water a whole lot of water have um, <clears throat> one fire energy and one um, um, and, 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 and the um, air energy that is coming in it is a good energy of the magician okay so let's look at your energies in this year of 2008 for you Capricorns your best month is going to be please write this down the best best month for you guys is going to be um, January and February and March with the energy of the lovers um, which is good your first quarter of the year is going to be extremely good um, second quarter you have the energy of the Empress so um, April May and June is going to be um, good for you May is going to be better for you June you're going to have to learn to balance out certain aspects and certain things in your life as we move forward and we look at the energy of the eye princess what is happening here is that you have the energy of the eye princess beginning the second half of the year and you're ending with um, um, the um, you are ending with the energy of the, the chariot so this is good in the sense that um, the half the, the second half of the year for 2018 is something you're ending the year on a positive note but there is a lot of finding yourself there's a lot of working with a spirit world there is a lot of <clears throat> breaking down of certain things but new things are coming in so be ready because um, um, things are going to be changing okay so um, so January February and March is going to be good um, May is going to be good and December okay the rest of the months in between are just um, finding yourself trying to balance it out yourself June is not going to be that bad but it's like balancing out certain aspect of yourself okay your numbers are going to be 22 19 6 3 and seven and ten so again 22 19 6 3 7 and 10 and what is so beautiful about your reading is that the number 10 energies come twice one is the wheel of fortune and one is new beginnings and the the, the, the energy of uh, the universe speaking to you and guiding you which you have the the hermit and the eye princess and the angman so the zero is good so you can use the zero the zero is going to be very powerful for you because the zero is a new start the new the zero is going on a new journey the zero is connecting with so um, for a lot of you Capricorns what this is showing is that what is going to happen to you is that a lot of you are going to start vibrating in the fifth dimension 
and you can see this happening because of the 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 eremite the eye princess um the hangman um the energy of the tower and judgment coming in and the wheel of fortune and a successful transition um, to a, a good place in your life okay so this is going to be good so okay let's go in the reading the best month if you are about to do something um, January and February is good January February is good um, April May and December okay so um, let's go um, in your reading so month of january we have the energy vibration of a new start and a new beginning the fool's journey so a lot of you are about to go on a new journey in the month of um in the month of december um january <laughs> in the month of january a lot of you people are going to be going on a good journey so this is positive it's as if you're leaving whatever that has transpired in 2017 and you're moving forward um on a new part in your life but yet still on new situation you're going to change jobs a lot of you have seen a lot of you changing jobs trying to do something new which is going to be wonderful for you and this is what you're going to see happening in um, the first half of the year so whatever newness that you're about to start in January it's going to pay off a big payoff in December and February okay so let's move on and see the month of february it's a lucky month in this year february may and august is the lucky month in this year and you have also success coming in in february february it's going to be a huge success for you whatever the situation is whatever is happening this is going to be just a powerful powerful a new success that is coming in for you it's going to be a month of a yes month go ahead do whatever do that whatever you want this is going to be good this is going to be positive so whatever is happening and transpiring in your life whatever you're starting you whatever you're going for it's going to be a really really success in the month of February okay um, as we move on we go um, for March it's a water energy this is good this is powerful because this has to do with love so whatever is happening for you in your love life March is going to be the month of this powerful loving and just coming in in the month of March so it's it's actually going to be extremely good very very good so in your love life a lot of you are going to be meeting your soulmates and twin flames in March so open up for the energies in March because if you um, open up and are ready for the energies in March uh, to meet your twin flame and soulmate it's going to happen okay this is going to be extremely powerful this is going to be good going forward this this is uh, um, extremely wonderful so as we go forward we are looking back at the first quarter and it's going to be the best quarter the best beginning from the year for you Capricorn so this is going to be wonderful okay so remember if you have problems you need to call upon the angels and guides and help you and this is going to happen for you as we look at April April is a time of going within going within because the energy of the hermit is here this is uh, this is positive energy this is wonderful energy the energy of the hermit is here what is happening is that um, there are things and situations that are happening there are situations that are happening where you're going within to find the true inner wisdom of how to go forward with things in your life so if you have started something beginning if you go on a new journey you are going to try and figure out how can I deal with this and how can I move forward and how uh, what is the next move for me and you need to make plan a b and c okay and this is going to be good as we move forward we are looking at may another lucky month for you guys because the energy of the empress comes in in may this is a wonderful energy this energy of the of the empress coming in it's good because it's an earth energy and it's bringing you materialistic wealth and support so this is good this is good um so in may your materialistic um uh, 
your materialistic world is going to be much better it's going to be powerful it's going to be good and it's going to bring a lot of positive energies in as we look at June another hurt energy which is wonderful there's a lot of support for you um, Capricorns we have uh, the energy of uh, balance and energy of balance is the energy of the Virgos that are going to be coming in um, some Virgos are going to be coming in to help you and support you in whatever situation or whatever endeavor that is going on and this is going to be really wonderful and really positive because not only Virgos but you're going to find balance with work and your work life your situation and this is going to be extremely positive and good so as I look back at the second quarter it's going to be a very very wonderful positive energy it's um, planning ahead and um, in May a lucky month where a lot of um, materialistic abundance and stuff is going to come true and this is going to be extremely positive for you because this is going to be bringing in a wonderful uh, situation in your life and these situations are going to come together to help you to transform your life in the second half of the year so let's look at the second half of the year and see what is taking place here we have the energy of the eye princess and I knew the eye princess would have come in the year 2018 for you Capricorns because she comes in to help you to move you forward to make the decision to let go of the three-dimensional world the materialistic world and learning to balance the materialistic but yet still the spiritual because you're Capricorns you are one of the most powerful person on this planet because you work with the hurt energy but you work with the unseen world in the sense that you are spiritual your information your connection your um, guides and angels or spiritual beings and intergalactic and beams and that sort of a thing so you have to help other people to make the transition and you yourself have to make the transition okay you're going to find out that you're going to be eating differently a lot of you Capricorns if you notice that most Capricorns are very skinny because we hold um, a thin and uh, all, most Capricorns are born with a very very skeleton sort of a um, um, outfit because uh, um, we uh, work with two different dimensional energies so um, that's why we always tend to eat very healthy and be very slim I've gained a lot of weight since I'm back in the States because I tend to be eating the stuff that I don't always eat when I'm in Europe because um, we eat totally different in Europe but I'm missing like all the food and stuff and Christmas is coming I, I've gained like over um, 35 pounds since I'm here <laughs> okay um but I'm, I'm losing it I'm just I'm just not eating properly because I'm, uh, instead of uh, we cook in Europe I don't cook I can't cook so even now I'm always eating out so anyway um let's go forward um so month of August is actually a good month the month of August is actually a good month and I think that August you will find yourself in a place of inner peace you will find yourself you will find who you are you will be back to where you were the person who was very happy who was very at everything going on the right part doing the right thing so the month of August is going to bring you yourself happiness in a in a peace in a joy in a peace in a connection to who you are and this is going to be profoundly wonderful as we move on and um, we are looking because this this energy of uh, the Angman is, is really wonderful energy in this deck because it brings forward certain positive energy as we look at September which I thought was going to be really weird because a lot of people is ending but you are having actually a good beginning and what is happening for you Capricorns in September is that um, 
and, and maybe because um, your sister sign is having their birthdays and their energy vibration in September is actually very good because you are having help coming in, um, help from different, different people. And it's as if the universe is sending you support in the month of September. So this is wonderful and this is good. And you receive a lot of support and a lot of help coming in to help you to move you to that place where you need to be because you found yourself it's as if uh, you have gone through a period where ups and down and all different sort of obstacles come your way and now you find true inner peace and now help is coming in to bring you forward so you are the only guys uh, um, well I haven't finished with a reading but uh, that I've got a positive energy in September because uh, for a lot of people September was not one of the most positive months so as I look at the set the third Quartal. The third quartal is all about connecting with the unseen world. It's about spirituality. July, August, it's about coming back to who you truly are and who you came here to be at this time in your life. And this is what is going to be happening to you in the month of uh, in the third quarters. And there is going to be help coming in in September to help you to move you forward on the, that new part that you have found we are moving forward and we're looking at the last quarter the quarter of your birthday so you capricorn and we have in october the energy of the tower this situation and the energy of the tower is removing things that no longer serve you because whenever you choose to leave the fourth dimension to the fifth dimension there are things like materialistic things that if you used to buy a pair of shoes if you used to go shopping for yourself that you're going to stop and you're going to save the money towards your children your family your, your you know that sort of a thing you're going to make sure that you give out less so that you can have more to spend when you're older so a certain things like that is going to happen because the energy of the tower is releasing you of certain aspect of yourself certain things um, that you used to do that you're no longer going to do because you change your energy vibration to a more high energy vibration which you're elevating on a more positive energy and bringing out these positive energy in your life so this is really a positive good transformation card um, with the energies because this is all about yourself the second half of the year is all about who you are it's not that you're going to have all these um, karmatic situation with other people it's all about who you are and changing that energy vibration as we move forward we have another water energy and this is the energy of breakthrough informations that are coming out so um, this is, is, is saying is that a lot of information is going to break uh, come out and the information that is going to come out is going to help you to propel you because obviously there is a situation that was blocked there was things there was people there was things that you weren't aware of and all of these is going to finally come out and then you are going to see what this all finally came out these breakthroughs that are coming out what is going to happen is that you are going to be victorious over all of this so it's as if this is a situation where people were blocking you where things were happening and you weren't aware of this and this breakthrough is going to help you to move certain people certain situation out of your life because this is what the universe is coming in with the energy of the tower to do in the month of october is to move release you of certain situation and in November breakthroughs information is going to come through in November and then what is going to happen is that in December you are going to have and win the game of life isn't this wonderful in December you're going to come out and win the game of life a lot of you Capricorns in December is going to be so happy so joyous so wonderful so feeling yourself so bliss and happiness is going to happen and uh, don't forget because I didn't say this the Saturn is going to be in your chart for another three years you Capricorn so the, you know 
as you see the second half of the year but yet still in December you came out in victory and success and you have the wheel of fortune which is your energy vibration which I didn't tell you because that was the last surprise so December is going to be positive for you Capricorns because the energy vibration of uh, the chariot comes in and with this energy vibration of the chariot what is happening here what is taking place for the energy vibration of the chariot is that you are going to win win this um, 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 war on um, you know the win the 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 the, the, the pass um, situations you're going to overcome those you're going to be moving into 2019 on a good note and um, 2019 the general um, year 2019 you'll be moving in there on a good note and this is going to be positive and now I understand why um, there is so many spirituality that came up the hermit the eye princess and the hungman it's because and the tower and um, um, just um, judgment break choose it's because it your planet the planet Saturn is in your birth chart okay here we go congratulations you Capricorns your vibration for the year 2018 it is the wheel of fortune it's gonna be a lucky lucky year for you Capricorns Thank God, because you guys have gone through so much. I don't know what your year 2017 was like, but mine was unbelievable, un unbelievable. I've gone through so much um, in the year 2017. It is unbelievable. So congratulations again you guys are the only guys who got the wheel of fortune so as your focus for this year for the year 2018 I, I haven't finished reading so maybe somebody else will get it but um, you guys are the first to get it so congratulations it is a lucky year for you Capricorns and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be happy but remember that the first six months of the year 2018 is going to be your best the second is as if you are changing yourself you're changing your life and remember um remember that um <coughs> saturn is in <coughs> sorry <coughs> remember that saturn is in your your birth chart okay because you're capricorn oh my god I'm sorry remember that Cap um, um, Saturn is in your birth chart so you have to be aware of this okay so this is very very important I so love these cards I'm really a perfectionist I so love these cards just like one of my best card decks so okay let's recap your year and we are going to look your best best quarter is the first as a matter of fact the first three months of the year and then you are going to see changes coming in um the the empress this the empress is here so the empress is going to be wonderful the empress is going to be helping you out in the month of april which is going to be um good a lot of good things are going to be coming out in the month of april for you guys and this is going to be very wonderful very sweet very good um the earth energies that you have is in the month of May and uh, it's in the month of May and June okay there is not really a lot of support in earth energy so May and June is going to be the best looking for romance romance is going to come up in the month of March so a lot of people um, success is going to come in um success is going to come in for you guys um in february success is coming in for you guys in february and uh, and um and in december it's going to be and uh, you know february whatever you plan to do go ahead and do it january whatever you plan to do go ahead and do it december what you plan to do go ahead and do it it's going to be change 
um, so let's look at your zodiac energies the Tauruses are coming in so some of you Sun sign people people who were born between the hours of 12 p uh, 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. the Tauruses are going to be coming in to help you guys out so let's look at the Sun sign we have the Tauruses and the Capricorns Wow go Capricorns it is a positive year for you guys the Sun sign people if you were born 12 a.m. in the middle of the night until between 12 a.m. in the middle of the night and uh, 6 p.m. you are going to be working with the Taurus and the Capricorn so I see where the love is coming in because Taurus and Capricorn people are very very good lovers um, you know I do not believe the chart of compatibility and that sort of a thing because um, of Pisces oh my god yes oh my god okay I'm sorry that's why I put on my glasses so you Capricorns are going to have um, the Sun people are going to be working with the Pisces and the Capricorns so if you're looking for a relationship and for the people who are looking for a relationship the Pisces people are going to be the best best partners for you guys and the Pisces and the Capricorn that is a good match it's a it is a well-balanced match because the cap the Pisces are people because I I can say that because my soulmate is a Pisces okay so um, I know that a fact okay that the Capricorns and the Pisces um, are very good um, the soulmate come in uh, my compatibility partner it is um, the cancers but I don't know about cancer man <laughs> I get along much better with the Pisces um, okay and I'm not looking to be married because I don't believe in um, marriage anyway um the moon people let's see who you're working with the Leos and Uranus oh 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 so that's me no love for me this year <laughs> oh my god okay all right I gotta stop laughing okay the moon people people who are born between the hours of seven of 6 p.m. and uh, 12 a.m. in middle night okay so if you were born from six, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in middle night it is about the Leos and Uranus oh my gosh oh boy why couldn't I just have a little love this year <laughs> whatever okay um okay uh, okay I'm doing a reading so let's look and see the Sun with Pisces and the Sun with Pisces is a wonderful energy so you Sun sign people if you are connecting with um, a Pisces man it's going to be a good relationship it's going to be have its ups and downs and that sort of a thing some of you will find your soulmate that your Pis Pisces is your soulmate okay okay we're looking at the Luna and Uranus oh my god you know Uranus is in from the planet that I'm so afraid of okay one person oh yeah one person lunatic is another person genius never doubt your own precious contribution to the world so at least that is good for me because everybody thinks I'm lunatic but yet still my family just think that I'm just way off doing these energy vibration reading and doing these stuff they just think that I'm way off and the ones that goes to church think I'm not doing the right thing and who cares I do I do what I can do to help humanity so um, one person lunatic is the other person genius so I guess that's my energy vibration and I'll be doing this with Aaliyah's um, well I met a Leah last year and I can do without the Leah so you guys um watch out for the Leah's they're um, smoky people um, be careful 
Um, but you know, you it's it's a kind of hitting together, you know, that sort of a thing. It's a kind of hitting together. The Leos, you know, I can deal with the Leos instead of the Aries men. I don't know why. Um, so you guys are going to be have a connection um, with Leo's people now I'm not really looking forward to that as a moon uh, rising person but you know for you Sun guys go 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 love it's gonna happen um, for you guys with the Pisces it's a good good and um, it's, it's Pisces the men when they love you and they really love you then it's a lifetime it's it's a real relationship that is going to last a lifetime okay and they love you like how you want to be loved trust me you capricorns um let's look the ascendance masters are here what is the message for the capricorns in this year as usually your readings are always longer you capricorns but it's fun with you guys so mother mary um mother mary aqua mantle so i know why this came up because it's a spiritual year for you guys so mother mary mantle okay i wear mother's mary mantle of love and enfold orders in it i wear mother mary mantle of love and enfold orders in it um the wondrous universe angel Mary radiates her high frequency acromarine light throughout the universe. She spreads compassion, empathy, kindness, healing, and love. Mother Mary suggests you open up your heart and offer everyone who touches your part these higher qualities. Then she will grace you by placing her aqua mantle in your aura. You are reminded that there is only love, so there is nothing to forgive. As you wear this mantle, you become a force for healing and light, and the angel will sing blessings over you. Isn't this the most wonderful things, you Capricorn? Yes, it is. No one else has gotten this card. This is a um, Mother Mary um, bringing in this message. Okay, so let's see what the Akashic Records have for you guys for the year reading. What does the Akashic Records have for the Capricorn for the year reading? What does the Akashic Records have for the Capricorn for the year reading? The Four of Rose. Oh, 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 the Taurus has got this too. Should I take another? The Eight of Scroll in Reverse. Okay, so some people, you need to look at your ego for some of you Capricorns. You need to look at your ego because you're transforming the energies, okay? And we have the energy of the Eight of Scrolls. The Eight of Scrolls, we're going to look at this. Um, part unknown eight of scrolls we're going to look at this the part is unknown so this is true a lot of you are going to be going on a new part but the part is yet to known so we're looking at the eight of scroll this is the energy of the uh, attached records um this is a new deck um as i was saying to other people i'm i wasn't um that happy about um this deck because there is just um it, it's not really what I was looking for but anyway let's see eight of scroll in reverse part unknown in the reverse form you may find yourself very undecided and hesitated to move in any direction when this card um, is reverse it's not only a time to look into the dark but also a time for looking backwards the part on your left is particularly illuminated by the sun and calls you to investigate it. It leads to a part or a past life relationship, talent or experience. If you look into this history 
and go back to resolve the issues and reconnect with the past person, occupation or deed, you will open the way to future success and your decision will become clearer. No matter the reason why you hesitate, challenge yourself now to break free from fear and error. It's amazing how many unexpected opportunities can drop into your future when you look behind you and how much you can bring to light when you step into the dark. So this is, this is, you know, this is wonderful because there's an unknown part and it's in the reverse. And, you know, there is a special note to say, regardless of whether this card up is upright or in the reverse part, um, give you a more insight through the neighborhood cards. And there is no really neighborhood cards because I'm just pulling one card. So whatever is happening, there is an unknown part that is happening. Um, for a lot of you Capricorns out there. Okay, we are working with the conscious spirit and the energy with the conscious spirit that we're working with, working with the energy of the conscious spirit. So let's see what is happening for you Capricorn. The present. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. So I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present okay so this is a good good message come back look at it and um, say it because that's the affirmation you guys get a lot of affirmation um, this year so let's move on and look um, to see what is the uh, a message of the abundancy the message from the abundancy angel pay yourself First, pay yourself first. This is a wonderful card to receive. Make sure your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self care ensures that you will have savings to invest in your present and your future remember i was saying that in the beginning of the reading that you know you need um to save you need to save for the present or the future i don't remember if i was saying it or telling you this so pay yourself first this is the energy vibration so that means a lot of you because the wheel of fortune is here a lot of you are going to be receiving a lot of money whenever this card comes up it is telling you that you're going to receive a lot of money so pay yourself per put away a savings in the back and this is going to help you in the future Ladies and gentlemen, this was a wonderful reading as usual. It's a long reading for you, Capricorn. Namaste. Until next year, and remember to look out for the January readings. Bye.